Okay, welcome again, and we are looking for GCF and the LCM of a number. All right, uh, let us start with GCF. Okay, GCF stands for the greatest common factor or highest common factor of a number, of, of numbers, of set of numbers, all right? So, now, because of this common factor, it means here that um, we don't have a GCF. Okay, we don't have GCF of one number. Okay, no GCF of a single number. We don't have that. So we have GCF of two numbers or more. GCF of two numbers or more. So that tells us that. I mean, that brings this common here, common, that something which is being shared. All right, now, suppose we have these two numbers here. Suppose we have, uh, find the GCF of, of, of 12 and, and 18, for example, okay? So find the GCF of these two numbers here, right? Uh, let us draw. Oh, I can draw a line here. It's spread. So the GCF we can either find by listing, right? By listing, and pick the largest one. By listing, we know that the factors of twelve factors factors of 12 will be there what factors of 12 okay these are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 itself these are the factors of 12 if we take 1 times 12 we get 12 these are numbers which of which when we find we, we multiply we get 12 so these are the factors of 12. And we have factors, this is by listing, mind you, factors of 18. Factors of 10 are 1, 2, um, 3. Now 4 is not a factor of 18. 5 is not, but 6 is. Uh, 9 is, and the 18 itself, right? So these are the factors. <clears throat> now from here, okay, from here, this is by listing. We have the factors of two numbers by listing. Now we find the common, find the common, but not only the common, the highest or the greatest common. This one is common. Common means it is found here and here. It is found in 12 and 18. Two is also common. Three is common. Four is not, but six is 12 is not. Now, you see that 6 is the common one and the highest as well in both. All of these, two, uh, 1, 2, 3, are common, but they are not greatest. They are not the highest. So this one here is highest. Okay. So 6 is found on both numbers and it is highest. So that is the greatest to common. Therefore, we say here that, I mean the GCF or HCF, GCF of 12 and 18 is 6, is 6. So, that is what we mean by, 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 by a GCF of a number. Now, this is one method, okay? One method. The second method, you can write here one. The second method is uh, finding GCF by prime factorization. Prime factors. Prime factorization. Okay. By prime factorization, we write the two numbers and we, 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 we split them into their prime factors. So we write here, we have 12 and we have 
18. So we start to split this or to divide by their prime, by the prime factors. Prime, you know, prime numbers we have. Prime numbers are two, three, five. Okay, so we are going to divide this by prime numbers. We can draw lines. Okay, can draw this way. Can draw this way. And can draw this way. And do this way. So we go by two here. Let us write using a different color. By two, these are prime numbers. So we get six and we get nine. Okay. By two again. Uh, by two, six and nine. Okay. Yeah, so you divide by prime numbers like this, and now this we have gone to the end. Divide by two here, get six, get nine. By two, get three, get nine. Why we repeat nine because two wasn't able to uh, to divide nine exactly. By three, now we get one, we get three, and by three again we get one, get one. Now we. We, we we revise again here. We we pick those prime numbers which were able to do this uh, in, on both numbers. For example, this two here, it divided both numbers. See, I mean, by twelve six by twelve nine. So we pick this, and this two here did not divide both numbers. It divided six by three and nine. It failed. So we don't. And uh, three here divided both numbers, divided three by one and nine by three, so we also pick it. And three here divided only three because the one was already there, so this didn't. So what we do here, we, 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 we say that the LCM, oh sorry, the GCF, GCF of of 12 and 18, 12 and 18 is 2 times 3, 2 times 3. These two numbers, which we are able to divide both numbers, okay, 2 times 3 here, which is equal to 6. So the same to this one here. All right, so this is how we can find it. We can find the LCM or GCF of, I mean the GCF, please be with me, the GCF of, of a number. This is how we can find the GCF of a number, either by listing, by listing the factors and finding the highest one, or by using prime factors, prime factorization, and look for those factors which we are able to divide both numbers exactly. Okay, and multiply them, multiply those factors, so we get the greatest factor, the greatest common factor. Mind you, we are looking for the greatest common factor, and this is possible for two or more numbers, two or more numbers. Now, what is this for? What benefit does this have in our daily life? Right, what benefit does it have? Please, yeah, let us look for those. So, okay. So, GCF problems may be asking us or may be asking you to split things into smaller sections to equally distribute two or more sets of items into their largest grouping, okay? And to find out how many people we can invite, right? And to arrange something into rows or groups. Right, so we are not studying this for nothing. Now you see these are the daily, daily, daily application in our life, splitting things into small sections, all right? We have a big thing, I want to split it into small sections. We can apply the knowledge of, of GCF, all right? Uh, we can also, uh, how to equally distribute two or more sets of items 
into their largest grouping find out how many people we can invite into our we can invite invite into our occasions like a birthday like whatever ceremonies and arrange things into rows and columns many many times we need to arrange things into rows and columns okay into into rows or into groups so this will will help us this gcf will will really help us